disclaimer. So, one from the overview perspective, and I think um, that's very similar to what we have heard before. From a data management perspective, where HANA is coming from, we are seeing a lot of trends, uh, big trends. One is, of course, we mentioned that already, is big data, where a lot of data are created. Not just in uh, point of sales data, not just in the internet, but especially in a huge trend we are seeing is, is with, uh, these RFID chips, uh, where a lot of companies are heading in that direction of collecting information by using massively data which is coming from, from these very small devices. This is a huge trend and I have a very nice example, I always like that, is uh, one company, a big uh, company which is producing wheels and uh, they are just in the business in the last years, in the last uh, decades for just uh, selling these wheels. Now they are looking into a new trend and that's exactly what, uh, what you mentioned, that is how can I change my business from just a producer of these wheels into a digital company and how do they do that? They are saying what we want to provide to our customers is a uh, service a digital service which allows us to do kind of predictive maintenance. That's saying, if the companies who produce, uh, who, who are in the transport business, if they would know that their wheels are coming, uh, getting cor corrupt, damaged, if they know it before the, the, the van is, uh, is on the street and they have to wait, that would save them a lot of money. What they are now looking into that, they are putting these RFID chips into the wheels, that they send always information to a, center, a central hub, um, in, in HANA, and then we do the analysis there, if there is a prob high probability that the wheels get damaged, and then they send these services, this message to the, to the producer, to the transporting uh, companies, and they can react earlier before the van is really damaged. And this is a business where, where we are heading to transform the business from a real, from a just a producer or from a producer into a service company, which gives them a lot of value. That is with the big data and also Velocity, which means a lot of data, a lot of new data are coming into systems, a lot of new data have to be analyzed in real time and creating value out of that. And especially looking at this example we had before, of course you have to get very soon if you detect such a problem on the, on the wheels that you can inform the, inform the companies. And you have a lot, a lot of data looking at all the vans who are, which are out, uh, out in the street. And of course you have to be very cost effective and um, doing this operation in a very cost-effective way, especially looking at TCO and how you um, install your system, how many systems you, do you have in your data center, how do you want to consolidate that, a very important topic today. Looking a little bit at the history, I like 